Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through creating an Alexa skill that streams music. So maybe if you've got an online radio station or you want to stream somebody else's online radio station through uh, your own custom Alexa skill, I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. And we're going to be using a, uh, a Dabble Lab Alexa skill template. So if you head over to DabbleLab.com and then click on the templates menu, We've created so far 15 templates that um, mostly we created to help you learn how to build Alexa skills, but they can also be a good starting point for a, a custom skill in some cases. And we're gonna be using this one right here, number three, the Alexa audio player skill template. All of these templates are, are free for you to, uh, to use. And all you need to do is just have uh, a Dabble Lab account to download them. And the Dabble Lab accounts are free. so. You can, if you don't have one, you can just click uh, need an account down here and sign up. No credit card or anything like that required. So then you just log in and once you log in with the right password, there we go. Once you log in, you will have access to the uh, the template details page, and you'll all of the templates have a tutorial video that shows you how to use them. That's what you're watching right now for this one, this here, and then um, the this button here you can use to download the source code. And down here, you can ask questions if you run into any issues uh, or have questions along the way. We'll answer those as soon as uh, as soon as we can. And like I mentioned, um, the templates can be used with the Ask CLI, uh, the command line interface. They're all set up to, to uh, support that if you know how to do that. But you can also use them um, with the uh, Alexa, just the web Alexa console, so uh, Alexa hosted skills, which if you're new to creating Alexa skills, that's definitely the easier way to get started. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you uh, today. So we wanna start by downloading the source code. And the, um, the source code bundle is a zip file. So you want to, after you download it, just extract that zip file. And then this is, um, this is all of the code here for the Alexa skill project that can be used with the, um, the Ask CLI, the command line interface. Uh, or like I said, we can also just copy and paste the code to use it in the Alexa console. And that's what we're gonna do here. We'll come back to this, but we're gonna go first over to developer.amazon.com. This is where you would set up a new Alexa skill. And we're gonna to go to the uh, Alexa console. And so if you don't have an account, you'll need to create one here, but you can go Alexa developer console here. Um, and if you need to create an account, it's, uh, it's no big deal. The accounts are free and don't require a credit card. If you do create an account, especially for um, this skill template, you want to make sure that you're using, if you've got a, an Echo device, which you really need if you're doing audio skills, you can't test through uh, the web easily. So you'll want to use, if you're setting up your developer account, you'll want to use the same email address that you used or that you use with your uh, Echo devices. That's really important for uh, testing and development, especially in this case when we're testing an audio skill. Okay, so um, next what we wanna do here is we wanna create a new Alexa hosted skill for Node.js, and we're gonna call this Audio Stream Starter, which is the name of the template that we're using, and it's custom template, and we wanna set it up for Alexa hosted Node.js. All the templates now are Node.js, we uh, hopefully we'll have some Python ones coming, but at this point they're all Node.js. So select hosted, Alexa hosted for Node.js and then create skill. And creating a, a hosted skill, this initial process takes about a minute. So we'll let that continue and we'll go over here and talk a, a bit more about the, uh, the code. So for this template, there's two things that you need. You need the uh, interaction model code, which is this model's en that dash us.json, and then you uh, will also need the code from this uh, index.js. So we're gonna just copy and paste that. So we will open that file in the text editor of your choice. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code, but you could use text editor, whatever you're comfortable with. And then um, select all the code and then copy it. And then um, when you're hosted skill is ready as it is now for us we can go to the json editor here and then select all of this code that 
is in there and then paste over it with our interaction model that we, uh, um, that we copied from the template. And we can save that and build that. And the build will take uh, uh, about a minute also. But while that's happening, the other thing that we need to do is we need to configure this skill to support the um, audio interface. And we can do that by going to interfaces here left-hand side, and then the audio player interface is this one right here, the first one, and we just want to toggle that on, which is uh, pretty simple. And um, next, while that's doing its thing, we're going to go over here and, uh, let's see, save interfaces, and then we'll, um, we'll go over here. I think that's done, so we can leave. We'll go over here and we're gonna paste over this index file here. So this, this code here. So we've gotta go back to our template code here and then find this file, this index.js. And then again, open that with your text editor and copy it all. And then go back to the developer console to this code tab and the uh, index file copy all of the index file and then just paste over that with the uh, template code. And so we've got it all here. Then we wanna save and deploy that. And while that's deploying, I'm gonna talk for a minute here about what, uh, what you're gonna to need to do to set this up to work with your um, online stream. So everything for this template that you need to worry about is just right up here, this, um, uh, streams uh, object here these some of these properties are all, all that you need to change so um, for example this is the url to your radio stream and i'm in the example just pulling a stream from radio nami and uh, this next line 32 here this title this is what's going to show up if somebody is streaming your stream on a device with a screen so like an echo show or something like that that's going to show up as the title and this will show up as the subtitle and then for screens uh devices with screens you can also have like an icon that's what this is here and then uh, a background image and that's what this is here so you would want to change these out to point to urls for um, your own images and I've included the the sizes in here so you so you know what size image that you need so this is 512 pixels by 512 pixels and this is uh, 1200 by 800 and there are other sizes that you can use to support um, different uh, different size uh, devices but mainly this is what you want to change here so once um, once that's all good this should be ready to test so this for audio skills, um, turns out to be the trickiest part because uh, so you've got to enable testing. So you want to come over to the test tab and enable uh, testing for development, but you can't actually test audio stream skills using the, um, the the test simulator, the web simulator. You actually do have to have a device, and that's why I mentioned earlier when you're setting up your uh, Alexa developer or your uh, Amazon developer account, you want to make sure to use the same email that you use with your Alexa device. So I'm going to test this with uh, a, uh, an Alexa device uh, by just saying um, open audio stream starter. So let's give it a try. Open audio stream starter. Starting stream one. So that's it. So you can see down here where it says this is where that's starting and then it's pulling the stream data from this information up here Alexa stop so hopefully that is helpful if you have any questions uh, or comments again you can leave those over here and I'll respond just as quickly as I can and uh, thanks so much for watching